Either you will pay for your sins in the lake of fire for not having believed that Christ paid for them on the cross, or you now believe with all your heart, that is, with faith, that Christ already dot paid for them all on Calvary's cross. Legally speaking, in terms of the law, no, there is no other way for sin to be punished but with the soul's death, right? Legally speaking, there is no other way for sin to be punished but with the soul's death. God said, the soul that sins shall surely die in Ezekiel 4. We must take it very seriously. I believe we must give it the due importance that Ezekiel 4's decree deserves. The soul that sins shall die. Repentance, a demand from the Lord, means that man must change his way of self-perception. Because once sinned, it doesn't matter if he sins no more. One sin was enough to condemn the soul to death. Just one sin. One sin was enough to condemn the soul to death. Once the soul is condemned to death, it doesn't matter if the person sins no more. As the Lord says in John 8.24, or all the sins that we will commit until we die, all we will have to pay for them in the lake of fire. Because sins are fully paid, each one, in the lake of fire. The soul that sins will die. Or now, before death comes, we believe with all our heart that Christ paid for them on the cross when he died for our sins. Either we pay for them in the lake of fire, or we believe Christ paid for them. But no sin will go unpunished. Without being condemned as sins must be. With the death of the soul, none. So you will pay for them all. All because they all must be paid. Or you believe Christ paid for them on the cross. And beyond that, there is no more. Or you will pay, you, all the sins with the eternal death of your soul. Or you believe that 2000 years ago, Christ paid for them on the cross. Christ says in John 8.24, That's why I said you will die in your sins, because if you do not believe that I am, in your sins you will die. Don't die in your sins, dear friend. Believe before you die, physically believe that Christ died for your sins, and thus will make eternal life real, which Christ achieved over 2,000 years ago on Calvary's cross.